Hey folks, the middle is free. Let's craft a seat cushion or sitting pillow. The video is again a little bit longer. Like in the most cases, I start with a cube and use nice dimensions. It's a habit. I mean, I don't need that for a pillow. Control R and loop cut the object a few times. I know what I wanted to look for, the name for the faces in the object. I refer to them as shadow faces. If you know the name, or is there a name for it at all? Probably, surely, but you know one name. Remember the modifier mirrored on the object origin. You can set the point with a combination of Shift S to bring the cursor to the matched position and then click object set origin origin to 3D cursor. But in my case it's already there. You folks see I try to use different ways. Maybe it seems unnecessary complicated, but it shows more approaches. On this point we need the merge menu. Press for that in the edit mode M. And if you have more selected, you can show at first or at last. Another way is to move the point to the same position like I did that. And press M and merge by distance. Now I bring the object some close physics and jump from the modifier properties to the physics properties. It's only a helper to blow up the mesh. We need under pressure, maybe five pressure. And that the object not fall down, some under field rights O gravity. Start the animation with space and you see it's blow up. The next thing what we need is for the mesh deform modifier a cage. It starts again with a cube. The cube need to enclose everything. I control air the object and add some loop cuts on all sides. It's important that we have later points and whenever possible on the positions where we plan for example the knob. Again my habit, I subdivide the mesh so often that it matches to the squares shown. On this side for the middle part, I move that more to the middle, something like that. The same on the both other sides. After that we have two objects, the pillow and the object for the mesh deform modifier. I press again space to blow up the pillow and stop the animation. After we found the best frame, like this, I think work nicely. I apply the cloth modifier and add a new one, a mesh deform modifier on the pillow. The object is a cage. I haven't named that, but you know what I mean. Now I bind the two objects together. Sometimes it needs more time as expected. I cut that out. Time to be creative. You see the pillow is connected to the cage and move if I shift the cage. It also needs sometimes this time. I make it very fast and basic, but seems like a normal sitting pillow. I move the top parts a little bit more down and the button parts also a little bit more up. I think we can let the outside. Now you see if we change in the solid mode we can see the pillow. I solved that with the option via in the viewport. Activate it with under object properties, down to the viewport display and the select box, display as to via. Be careful it confused sometimes with the wireframe mode under the shading options. Because if you select something, in this mode you select only the front points and not the points behind like in the normal wireframe shading mode. During I set that, I have already moved the faces down where the knob are. You remember I want a fluffy sitting pillow. Of course the same on the other side, on the bottom. With control numpad 7 we invert the top view and watch from bottom to the top. How I mean? Same on both sides. Time to create a knob. What a word. I think it's the first time that I use that and hope my pronunciation is not too bad. For this reason I create a circle and divide the diameter. At first with 10 and then with 2. Sounds like divide by 20. And I extrude the vertices more up that we have a shape. Merge but before I extrude both sides and I mirrored that. It's the second time that I mirrored something in all three dimensions. Now I need the perfect place, maybe this one. Maybe they are a little bit oversized, but it's modern. Let's check what we have. We need of course a position on the z-axis, but before the position of the knob is wrong. Our knob need a feature, a more bevel edge, at least on the top side. But before I see a mistake, we need to fix the normals from this mesh. For that I select everything in the edit mode and press ALTN for the normals menu. Then I use the option recalculate outside and you see immediately the result. I'm not fast enough. Bevel is in the edit mode control B and the selected edges bevel. Under F3 shade smooth our first step to enhance the view. Now I apply the under modifier the mesh deform modifier from the pillow. I hide the cage and seems like the pillow need one more feature. 
But then is it enough? I won't hold the video short. I control R the knob over cross and total four times. I select that with ALT and left mouse button in edit mode from the second with shift. Then I switch in the wireframe mode with Z and deselect the points from the outside with numpad 1 in the front view and move the points down and the other points up. I add a subsurface modifier as last step to the mesh. Everything else should work with textures. A simple sitting pillow. I have already an idea for the next video, but I don't spoiler. That was long my friends. Then thanks so much for watching, make sure you have subscribed, thumb up and see you next time.